We are so back, boys. We are so freaking back. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. My favorite gaming company, even though some of the stuff they do is, you know, oof. But they cooked. They legit cooked. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, on Tuesday they had a Nintendo Direct and oh my god there were so many good announcements and uh, I want to talk to you about the ones that I'm most excited for and yeah I just want to talk about it and that's it that's literally all I want to do now oh my god where do I start Marvel vs Capcom fighting collection holy shit wait <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I can finally play it on my fucking PS5, and, you know, I'm so, so happy that this got a remaster. With all the other uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, titles, you know, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, you know, all of them. Uh, I, I'm so happy, I'm so excited for that one, I cannot wait to play that one. And, I, I will talk about that Zelda game. Oh my gosh, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Now, when I first saw that trailer, I thought it was like another part of Link's Awakening. I, I didn't know what it was. I really didn't know what it was. I, not, not another Link's Awakening, sorry. Another remake in the style of Link's Awakening. I thought they were going to make another remake, but then I saw it and it was like really different. I'm like, wait, hold on. And then... You know, after the whole part where Link gets sucked into this warp like darkness, and then you just see Zelda running, and then boom! You know, she's looking out into the into the scenery, shows the title, and it shows that we can play as Zelda. Now that, oh my God, that made me like, oh my God, I'm so excited for this game. I cannot wait to play this game. That shit looks so cool with all the echoes. You can. You can make beds, you can make tables and all that. You can make fucking enemies fight for you, bro. Like, bro, can I make trees? You know, I don't know. The uh, the Zelda director, uh, you know, uh, Aonuma said, you know, there's a lot of echoes in this game that he hasn't even counted them all. So I cannot wait to see what other echoes we can use. I want to see fucking... Damn, what do I want to see? I, I don't know. I really... I. Uh... I don't know what they're gonna do with this game. I cannot wait to see what they do with this game. It's just you can, it's it's gonna be more puzzle-ish because you know, it's Zelda. You're making echoes. You can stack two beds to make stairs. Fucking stack two tables to make a fucking pillar. You can stack water. You can stack literal water, and that's fucking cool. That's some Minecraft shit. That's some Minecraft shit they're pulling on us. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so creative. This is so cool. I cannot wait for that one. Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, I cannot wait. That is going to be a top tier game. Now, the next one, after seven years, ever since it was announced back at E3 2017, we finally, finally got a preview of gameplay of Metroid Prime 4 beyond oh my god uh i could not i i was i called it i was talking to my friends before the, the direct happened and i was like you know what i think it's about time they're gonna show metroid prime 4 if not then you know it's whatever um cannot oh my god it looks so good on the switch but here's what i'm thinking it said the release date is not until 2025 which makes me think that it's going to be cross launch slash it's going to be cross gen so it's going to launch with the new with the new successor to the switch along with the switch uh, just like what uh, breath of the wild did with uh, the switch and the wii u i feel like that's what they're going to do here and you know what by all means i do not care as long as we finally have the game and a final we have we finally have a release window sorry i could not speak right there but i'm just so excited um yeah, I, I, oh my god, we got, it was tiny, it was a little bit of gameplay, but it looks so fucking good. It looks so good, I cannot wait to play that game. What other game, what other game? Ooh, 
Mario Party Jamboree, Super Mario Party Jamboree. I also called that with my friends. I was like, you know what? I think they're going to show off a new Mario Party. And right, right out as I predicted, it was Super Mario Party Jamboree. Now, my only, only nitpick with this Mario Party, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. The boards actually look cool. The boards actually don't look bland and plain and simple. They actually look good. It looks, you can go up the escalators, you know, take this pathway instead of that pathway. You know, instead of Mario Party's, you know, Super Mario Party, the first one where you just go in a straight square and there's two lanes, you can choose whatever lane, you know, Mario Party Superstars, that was a great one. That was a good, that was a good Mario Party. My only nitpick with the Super Mario Party Jamboree is that it's going to be the one Joy-Con, you know, kind of control system, which is fine. I'll get over it, you know. You know, I wasn't a fan of the Super Mario Party. I, I like Super Mario um, Mario Party Superstars better. But I got over it with Super Mario Party. I played it. I played it with my cousins. You know, we had a we had a blast. Um, we got over it. We we know we knew how we know how to use the Joy Cons. It's just it's something we'll get over. It. We're not gonna bitch and moan about it. But I do wish that they had another control scheme where you can use a normal controller. Maybe they do, and they're just showing the one Joy-Con for the trailer. Maybe they do, and they're going to prove me wrong. I hope they prove me wrong, but, you know, we don't know. The game hasn't come out yet, and uh, I'm not Nintendo. I can't speak for them. And now, for my long-awaited title... I've been waiting ever since 2015 when the last entry of this series came out. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Holy crap. When this Nintendo Direct started, it started off fucking strong. Now let me give you some context. I love the Mario and Luigi series. I don't care what anyone says, that is the it's it's a great series. It's a goaded ass series. Dream Team, I love that fucking game. Bowser's Inside Story, oh my god. Mwah. Superstar Saga, oh my Mwah. I I have the remake on the 3DS. I love the Mario and Luigi series. So when Alpha Dream went bankrupt, I was like, you know, oh, you know, RAP, but I was I was holding out hope because Intelligent Systems is still up and running. So they can still make a Mario and Luigi game. They just haven't for nine years. And then before, when they announced the Nintendo Direct, I was like, I was talking to my friends. I was like, I was with Langston. I was like, Langston, all I want, and I've been asking for this for a long time. You can ask him. All I want is a new Mario and Luigi game. I don't care if it's a remake, if it's Partners in Time remake, you know, I don't care. As long as it's something, you know, Mario and Luigi related on the Switch. And, you know, he was like, you well, I hope it comes true, but we got to see it till tomorrow. And when they opened up with the Peach's Castle, when Luigi came out that bush, bro, I jumped out my fucking seat. I was like, holy shit. I was jumping for joy. I was so, so happy that a new Mario and Luigi game was happening. Oh my god, after nine years, nine long years, I finally, finally got what I've been wanting on the Switch. And not to mention how fucking good it looks. It looks so, so good. I love the art style. I love the animations. Oh my god, they're like, they literally look like... They're like, uh, what's the style? The style is like, you know, they're really like stretchy and cartoonish. And I'm like, holy shit, this looks so good. The animations are so clean. When Mario pulled out the hammer and then Luigi helped him and smacked it. And then, you know, the ching, you know, they look so cartoony and stretchy. It looks so good. It looks so, so good. The animations are so good. I love that art style. I cannot wait to play this game. This game might be my fucking game of the year. Pe beating Preach uh, Showtime, Stellar Blade, you know, all the... Uh, you know, I love Stellar Blade, I love Princess Peach, but Mario and Luigi, I've been waiting nine fucking years. This is gonna be my game of the year. I can already tell that this is gonna be my game of the year. 
the anime I, I I keep going on about the animations, but they really do look so crisp and good. It runs well on the Switch, and it looks so they're they're so expressive with how they move and how they talk. You know, when Mario was like Luigi in the beginning, oh my god, and Luigi running around with the bees, he looks so good. They look so expressive. Like when Mario when they launched into that fucking island, and then Mario looked around and Luigi was stuck in the ground and you know Mario did the little jump they look so so good the animation art style mwah. I cannot wait for this game this this game was my highlight that was my highlight of the direct you know that was mine I know Langston's was uh, Marvel vs Capcom 2 you know that's great I love that that was awesome uh, I know a lot of other people's that it, it was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I know Maximilian dude was like, you know, he was like, holy shit. And you know, that, that, I'm glad he got, he got what he wanted. But for me, and a lot of people also loved the, you know, the Zelda people loved the, uh, uh, Echoes of Wisdom. That was fucking sick as hell. I'm, I cannot wait to play that game. Uh, a lot of people were fucking, everyone was ecstatic that, Fucking Metroid Prime 4 was finally, finally revealed with gameplay, a little snippet of it, and, uh, yeah, with that game, you know, fucking, the original developers had to, like, scratch everything, you know, it stopped development, and then the new developers had to start from scratch, so, that was, that was really cool. The new developers, you know, said, we are going to work on this game from scratch and build it back up, and they sure fucking did. But yeah, Mario and Luigi Brothership, that is my highlight of the Direct. That's for me personally. I am so happy after nine years that I got a new Mario and Luigi game. Now, this is gonna be the end of like the Switch era, you know. They're going out with bang, yeah, they're going out with the bang, you know. Fucking Mario and Luigi, Metroid Prime 4, a Zelda game where you can play as Zelda. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you know, and I hope the Switch successor lets us play Nintendo Switch games, you know, at a better, you know, loading time, you know, so it could actually handle, like, these powerful games like Tears of the Kingdom, you know, you know, all those, you know what I'm saying? I hope it's real, I hope, I hope they let us play Switch games. If it's like the Switch 2, if it is the Switch 2 that everyone's been saying, like I've been saying, I've been calling it the Switch 2, then... By all means, as long as it's more powerful than than the the first Switch, I am all fucking for it. But yeah, with the with the game announcements this year, they're going out with a bang, bro. I cannot wait to play these games. And then 2025 will be the year where we get to see the successor to the Switch and its release. And I am excited to see what games they put on there. Because if it's anything like the Switch, we all know how good the Switch was. I cannot wait to see what they cook up. But overall, I, I really enjoyed that Direct. It was a good ass Direct. I saw a lot of JRPGs or normal RPGs that I saw that were interesting and I want to play them. But uh, those were like my main highlights. The first party stuff were my main highlights. Is where, or the main topic of this video that I wanted to talk about and say, you know, that I really loved about that Direct. And yeah, I just want to know what you guys thought of the Direct, you know, what what was your fucking highlight, you know, what was your main, like, whoa, I can't believe this is happening. For me, it was Mario & Luigi Brothership. I cannot express how, how, how fucking long I've been waiting. Cannot express how much I want to play this. I cannot fucking wait. But yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to come on here saying, you know, how Nintendo fucking cooked up on that Direct, you know, they really did well. I'm so excited. I really enjoyed that direct. And uh, yeah, I just want to know what you guys thought about it. And uh, yeah, I won't I'll stop yapping here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.